As you probably already know, forces can appear in all possible directions and angles. However, we cannot always simply calculate the support forces from them. We will show you how to split up skew forces into their x and z components. As an example, let us assume a load of 10 kN that is applied on a beam at an angle of 54 degrees. This load is the resulting force of two components, one acting in the x and one in the z direction. The component in the x direction is obtained by multiplying the load by cosine 54, whereas the component in the z direction is obtained by multiplying the load by sine 54. The formulas result from a right triangle. Viewed the other way around, the resulting force and its two components exactly represented. In RFM and RSTEP, we also have the option of displaying the resulting force by one click. We hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.